Here's what I do daily at the start of my workouts for spine mobility to keep my spine healthy. I've got some spondylolisthesis in L4 and L5. I've got a pars fracture down there and I've also got, what's it called? Scoliosis <laughs> somewhere up here. So a few things that I need to be aware of and I go and see a chiropractor periodically and these are some exercises. This is a combination of some stuff that my chiropractor gave me and also some things that I've picked up along my movement journey. So you're gonna grab a dowel rod like this, put it up as high as you can. You can see me really trying to hike this up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn as far as I can, then I'm gonna take a deep breath. And you always get a little bit further when you do that deep breath. And then hold it and come back to the other side. Now I'm gonna turn as far as I can, deep breath. A little bit further okay then we come back and now we go down just a little bit so you try and go like one vertebra down turn as far as you can deep breath and with spine mobility a little a day keeps the chiropractor away so it's a really really good thing to do I do this stuff uh, I don't do it every day I'm not that good but I Whenever I think of it, and I'm really trying to make this a habit, to put this in the start of my routine. Because of course, like, you know, everything that you do takes time, and we've only got so much time in a day. Now we go down again a little bit more. And there's a couple of other things we're gonna do in a minute, so make sure you stay around, because the next couple of exercises are really, really good. Um, <clears throat> you know, we always wanna be doing the things in a day that are the most relevant to us and to our issues. Deep breath. But if um, spine mobility and getting a tight, tight back and tight shoulders is something that's an issue for you, which it is for me, then this could be a real game changer for you. So let me know how you go. Comment if you've got any questions. Deep breath. All right, nice one. Okay, now you can do that even a little bit more. You can go further down your back. But for the sake of keeping this video not too long, I'll move on to my next exercise. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my back as, uh, myself over to the side as far as I can go without letting my hip, uh, my glute come off the bench, okay? And then we're going to hold here for 10 breaths. So I won't count my 10 breaths, I'll just keep talking through it. But you're really trying to think of all of the joints in your spine and trying to get movement in all of them. And you're really pushing to get as, as great a range of motion as you can. And then when you've done 10 breaths, which whether I've done that long or not, just for the sake of the video, now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna worry about the glute coming off the bench and we're gonna go right down till our elbows resting on the bench. And then I'm going to lean back as far as I can. I'm still twisting, leaning over, sorry, flexing to the side, lateral flexion. And now I'm gonna rotate and try and get my rib cage up towards the roof as far as I possibly can and do 10 breaths. Whenever I go to the chiropractor, if I've been doing these, my range of motion is always so much better and the adjustments that she gives me are always much more effective. And I've always been a big believer in spine mobility and it's just something that uh, the more I learn about, the more I, uh, I wanna do it. You know, it's, it's so important for our overall movement capability. So we're gonna keep the glutes on the bench, lean over as far as you can. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'd know that I do, you know, I teach things like spine waves and stuff like that, which is a bit more advanced, but this is some really good stuff that anybody can do. It's not advanced, it's pretty basic. Okay, now we get the elbow down on the bench and lean back as far as you can, opening that chest up and hold for 10 breaths. Whether I do a full 10 breaths or not in this video, when you're doing it on your own, if you do the 10 breaths, that'll be really, really good for you. Okay, now from here, what we're gonna do now is turn the head to the side and then lean it back as much as you can and hold for 10 breaths. And this is a really, really good one that you can do <clears throat> several times through the day, whenever you think of it, when you're sitting at your desk because we spend so much time in the opposite of this position, you know, rounded forward and, you know, this forward flexion of the spine that over time can cause 
really bad problems with our posture. And so by doing this, you're really helping to reverse uh, some of the damage, some of the long-term effects that you're doing from sitting down. So the more you can do this, the more you think of it, the better. Um, I like to do at least this exercise, but any of these really, basically whenever I think of it, you know, if you're sitting at your desk and you go, ah, oh, I've been sitting here for ages, even if you just took, let's say two minutes, two minutes to turn to the side as far as you can, you don't need a stick, just go as far as you can, take a deep breath, and then exhale. And then you do the same to the other side, and then you lean over, you do your teapots, even if you just did a couple of breaths, and then you did the same thing here, and the whole thing would take you two minutes. If you did that every time you thought of it, man, your back will be in a better state than it is now, I promise you. If you like that video and you want to see some more, click or tap the screen there, watch one of those ones, and I'll see you in my next video.